Hi, this is Samak Yehuda Richter speaking. I'm talking on November 24th, 2022. It has been a very difficult past 24, 48 hours that we have been experiencing another terrorist attack in Israel here in Jerusalem at two separate bus stops at roughly the same time. And the reason I'm making this video now is because I want to introduce you to someone that I met three years ago. There will be a series of three videos following this one. The previous video I made was of the funeral of the boy that was killed in the terrorist attack. And then you see his father trying to express words how he felt after the rabbis were speaking about this terrible tragedy and the father could only speak about a minute. You saw at that funeral, not only the father, but I believe it was his son and the, the brother of the boy that was killed doing Korea, tearing the clothes, signing the sign of mourning that there was a tragedy in the family and now they have to deal with that tragedy. Words cannot express how I feel and I'm sure words cannot express how you feel after looking at that video. I'm a father, a grandfather, and it hits home very hard. But the reason I'm making this video is because I want to introduce you to three videos that follow this one on my channel, Semel Huda Richter. You see, three years ago, I met a gentleman named Nachum Lemkes. Nachum Lemkes lost his daughter in a terrorist attack very similar to the one that took place in Jerusalem in the last day or two. She was killed in a, at a bus stop and I have managed to find a video that shows exactly how she was killed. And I think I do have a video that shows previously, the previous video before the three, I'm gonna put up is the actual video that you, you have of the terrorist attack that just took place in Jerusalem, where you can actually see the smoke rising from the bus stop when, they, when the explosive went off. But after that, you will see the video of Dahlia being killed and there was no explosive because a Palestinian came, ran her over with a car and while she was laying on the ground, you can easily see the Palestinian coming back and making sure the job was finished. That's no human being, that's an animal. Human beings will make sure that somebody that's injured will, will be okay. They will try to help them. They will try to call police police to get ambulances, some are help, some in help. But this person who ran Dolly over was not interested in doing that. In the second video, you will see the funeral of Dahlia. But in the third video, you will see that I introduce Nachum. And we decided to make this video of Nachum and myself only a few days before this terrorist attack. So it's all Hashachar Pratis, it's also divine providence from Hashem himself that we have to, we were able to make this video and Nachum was very appreciative that I sat with him and we made this together. So without further delay, I want to put these videos up. And after this video, you will see again the first video coming from the surveillance cameras that shows the explosion in Jerusalem. The second video of the actual terrorist attack that happened on Etudalia Lemkus. The third video will be the funeral of Dalia Lemkus, and the fourth video will be of Nachum Lemkus speaking. Nachum speaks for 30 minutes. It's been eight years since he's been able to process and understand what's been going on, and I did an ex he did an excellent job 
expressing what had happened and how he feels. It's unfortunate that the father of this boy only had a few hours to think about what he was going to say at his, his son's funeral that you see on the funeral tape. And hopefully we'll hear more from the boy's father in days, months, and weeks to come after the Shiva period in the Shlok Shim is over. So I'm stopping this video now and going to put up the other videos that you will be able to see Nachum talking about his daughter. May a shame come to the morning so Bitsion Yerushalayim, the boy, the boy's family that was killed recently, and all those people who have suffered tragedies on these uh, from these senseless attacks that the terrorists are continuing to to perpetuate in Israel and around the world <laughs>